in this theorem uh, we will be uh, going through the converse of the previous theorem right in the previous theorem you remember uh, it was given that if you know if uh, two arcs of a circle or congruent circles uh, are congruent then the corresponding chords were equal now the converse of this would be if two chords of a circle are two chords of a circle or of congruent circles are equal then corresponding arcs are congruent that's what we have to prove okay so why are we talking about one circle and two congruent circles is the same case because you can have two equal chords within the circle itself or you can have two chords in two different circles but both the circles are congruent that is they have same radii okay so now let's take this general case where we have two circles and what is given it's given that pq is equal to rs two chords are equal and you have to prove to prove what do we need to prove pq arc is length is equal arc rather pq arc is congruent to rs arc rs okay congruent to arc rs this is what we need to prove okay so how to go about it so okay so let's take so let me just try it okay so now there are three possibilities either we are talking about pq as the you know uh, major arc or pq as the minor arc but in both the cases you will see the result is the same so let us consider these two triangles so let's take uh in triangle triangle o p q and triangle o dash r s what do we have what do we have guys o p is equal to o r is equal to r both are same radius circle right similarly o q is equal to o s is equal to r and pq is equal to rs this was given right therefore triangle opq is congruent to triangle o dash r s i watch criteria guys you know this is sss congruence criteria right so you have studied this already so criterion correct no so then what do we now infer that angle poq will be equal to angle r o dash s reason being corresponding parts of congruent triangle right so hence if poq is equal to r o dash that means measure of arc pq is equal to measure of degree measure of arc rs okay when degree measures are same we know that the arcs are congruent so pq is congruent to rs right so if pq is congruent to rs therefore qp arc will be also congruent to sr okay in both the cases why because this is nothing but circumference minus if uh, you have the same radius circle circumference minus minor arc will be equal to major arc and if minor arcs are equal major arcs will also be equal so what is qp and how do we differentiate pq and qp so when you go from p to q like that anti clockwise this is pq arc pq and when you go from q to p like that so this is arc qp this is the major arc this is the major arc isn't it so both minor and major arcs are same minor arc okay guys so hence you know both cases both in both the cases the arcs are congruent 